you again from Drunk on Wonderlust. It's the day before I head up to Bonnie, Scotland to finish hiking the West Highland Way. I've got five nights of camping, two nights wild camping, and it's time to decide what I'm gonna take and what I'm gonna leave behind. Now, I just wanna clarify that this is by no means a tutorial, quite the opposite. Uh, the kind of backpacking that I'm used to, uh, it usually involves hot tropical countries and just kind of winging it around from island to island, hopping, stuff like that. Uh, so it's a learning curve for me, which is great. I'm just gonna show you basically what I'm gonna pack. We're gonna figure it out as we go along, and then if you guys have got any comments or suggestions, please, please keep those comments coming in. I really enjoy reading them and replying to everybody. Now the pack I'm taking with me is Old Reliable, my Osprey Fairview 55. It's been all the way around the world with me and it's held up pretty good so far. It opens up on the side, um, it has got loads of different pockets which makes it quite lightweight, uh, weighing in at just 1.2 kilograms. Uh, it does have a couple of drawbacks though, it's not waterproof and also on the front belt it doesn't have any pockets to keep your valuables so I'll have to take a bum bag. And my main aim today is to try and get my pack a little bit lighter than what it was last time because I was dying absolutely dying. Now last time I camped, um, I took with me the beast of all sleeping bags. I took this bad boy, yeah! Which was lovely and warm and I get really cold at night, I really feel the cold, so it was nice, but it weighs a ton. Uh, so I'm gonna try and change it up. I've uh, bought a new one and hopefully it's a little bit lighter. Let's check it out on the scales. So this was the original Slumberlux uh, sleeping bag, the Beast, weighing in at 2.1 kilograms. And this is my new one that I got the other day. Um, and it says on it 1.38 kilograms. Let's just double check that's right. Oh, wait for it. Oh, just about. Yay. So that's a saving on weight. For this next bit, I had to make a bit of a sacrifice. I was sleeping on this roll mat last time but I found I didn't really get a very good night's sleep it was a little bit lumpy and bumpy I mean this only weighs 300 grams but I have changed this up so we'll get rid of that one and I've now got an inflatable sleeping pad which weighs 700 grams Eek! when it comes to clothes I try to pack the bare minimum as much as possible um, I've compressed it kind of down to this uh, it weighs 1.2 kilograms um, I was considering just having a naked hike, you know, to save weight, but I don't think they'd appreciate that in Scotland. Now, this is my little mess tin full of miscellaneous crap. Uh, first of all, I've got my little nightlight because, yes, I am scared of the dark. It's quite handy, it just pops out like that. I've also got some spare batteries uh, to put in it just in case it runs out. I've got, what else have I got in there? Let's have a look. I've got my mosquito mid net, which was really handy the last time I was up in Scotland. And of course, um, my spork, which is a fork, spoon and knife combined. And when it comes to fluids and liquid, uh, last time, apart from the few cheeky pints I had on the way, um, I was just carrying random bottles of water, such as this which proved to be quite difficult because I don't have anywhere to kind of store it. It was difficult to get out of the back of my bag. Um, so this time I am taking a two litre hydration pouch with me. Um, also, my brother has kindly lent me a water filtration system. I have no idea how it works. It's quite heavy, so I'm not gonna take that one. I am gonna take an eye straw instead because that's very lightweight and you literally just suck in one end and put the other end in the water source and it will filter it for you. So that's a, a lightweight option I'm going for. Now, if you watched part one of me hiking the West Highland Way, you would remember that I broke one of my hiking poles. I had completely forgotten, just remember just now, but you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna take one, half the poles, half the weight. Now, food wise, last time I took um, a little army camping stove and some bits and pieces to cook on. Although I only ended up using it once because I don't drink hot drinks and the um, the food that I took to cook was a bit minging to be honest, it was gross. So today I am only packing food that I can just grab on the go. Okay, I'm being really bloody lazy but you know what, sod it. Um, it does weigh in at 1.6 kilograms but my theory is as I go along, it's obviously gonna get lighter and lighter. Whereas if I took a cooking stove, that would be the same way all the way through, so. 
I had a few comments on my first video about um, Percy the pop-up tent. Now he was only £30 <laughs> uh, that I bought online and yes I am taking him again just purely because uh, if I'm going to buy another tent then I want time to find out um, which one is going to be the best one. This is where I need your help. If anybody's got any um, suggestions for a lightweight but uh, sturdy tent that I can take uh, please let me know. And how do I put it on my backpack? I'm just going to strap it on the back with a big old rainbow strap. I've also got all my toiletries here that um, are weighing in at just under 800 grams. But is it stuff that I am willing to get rid of? Absolutely not. No, you need your creature comforts, so I need my shampoos and bits and pieces because I don't want to be a complete sweaty tramp for the entire five days camping. Here it is, moment of truth. I'm all packed and ready to go. Now last time my bag weighed in at 15 kilograms. I've just used my little scales and it's 10 kilograms. Woohoo, a little bit lighter. Make sure you stay tuned for my next episode and watch me finishing off the West Highland Way.